Okay, so it is about 10.30 in the evening at my hospital, and so are you going to make an announcement, or you just have to go door to door and tell people mm. that the power is out? Well, the power isn't out, it's just some sort of things, I mean, obviously the light is on. Well, the light is See, on. There you go. Okay. Your bed is functioning. Okay. Now I'm going to go fix everyone else's. All but, right? But the call bell is not working. The call bell is not working. She, she don't care. Okay, I don't know. It, you have to reset it? So that was the nurse, always going door to door, tell everyone that maintenance is working on the electricity. So the power might go out, your bed might go out, your call assistant might go out, and let's check the TV. TV's up, call bell up. <coughs> so if I need something, I literally gotta yell and scream and hope that I can breathe because this is what's going on. And I asked about monitors. She said, oh, don't worry about it. You saw her. I'm not going to show her face. <sighs> but laying in a hospital is supposed to be stress-free. I told her I was sliding down. I cannot get myself up because I cannot really move. And she just said, hold on, let me tell the rest of the hospital what the situation is. And I didn't know this. No one told me until I decided to try and move the bed down so that I could go to sleep. Because um, I was uncomfortable in this position. It's pinching on my back. And all of a sudden, now I got to scream. And this isn't the first time it's happened. Um, but at least I was lucky enough this time that I have the door cracked. There's a sign on the door that says leave it open at night, just in case this happens, because the first time it happened was about 2 o'clock in the morning, and I woke up in pain, and needed pain medication, and I pushed the call bell, nobody came, nobody heard me, I had a scream, the door shut. Um, nobody could hear me down this hallway because I'm at the end and I was scared to death because I thought maybe something had happened. Um, I was seeing just all kinds of terrible things. I was screaming at the top of my lungs. Luckily, I'm a resourceful person and I grabbed my cell phone and I called the front desk. And they were sitting there politely asking if I needed information. I want to know why no one could hear me scream. At the top of my lungs, what if I had fallen? What if I had some sort of terrible thing? This is a hospital that deals with spinal cord injuries um, and stroke victims. And I just don't know what would have happened had I had some sort of catastrophic issue happen. I'm supposed to be perfectly still. If I would have fallen off this bed, I could have killed myself or or been paralyzed from neck down and no one could hear me scream so yeah this right here you can see I don't hear any bells going off this is going on so this bell's not working still the bell is it's on no I don't hear it oh it's just not making the noise it's silent so we right can now. hear it and we can it's, but it, it turns on to us you need something? No, I just didn't know if it was on or what. It's could, on. Yeah, I just, I didn't hear it on. Yeah. It's okay. heard by us. By us. It's heard by uh -huh. you, but mm -hmm. nobody else. Okay. Mm -hmm. By us. No, no, that's everybody the else I can hear. It's yeah, it's just. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you, I can't hear you guys. Mm -hmm. We can see the light and we can hear the light. But it's just not making noise from your bed. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's only you that can't hear it, but the people that need to hear it can hear it. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know, because I didn't know. Okay, thank That's you. That's good. It's good to know, right? 